Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. And in this one, we're going to talk about some interior mods and accessories that you can purchase for a Tesla Model 3. And I'm going to talk about some useful ones and also some, most of them are going to be for looks. So, yep, keep watching to learn something new and find some new accessories for your car. So the first one is going to be the screen protector. This one is very important since I got it um, a few months later I cracked it and I was watching a lot of other videos with people talking about accessories and installing their screen protector and I was like um, I'm not gonna like scratch it or crack it or whatever but I still decided to buy one because I found one that was matte and it wasn't reflecting any light on it. This one is 50 bucks, I believe, from Abstract Ocean. So I'm going to leave all the links down below so you guys can check it out. But anyway, I got this one. I was like, whatever, 50 bucks, but at least I'm going to be safe just in case. And when I was loading in my car, I barely had any space in my car. So I was putting a stroller in my front seat and the metal part of the stroller kind of just started cracking my screen. And I was really mad, but hope, um, pretty sure it's just the protector and not the screen. But I, it could have also gotten the screen a little bit. So I don't really know. I don't want to take it off because I'm going to have to buy a new one for 50 bucks. So just want to keep this one on for a little bit because it's just cracked a little on the corner. It's not literally that big. So I barely notice it. And yeah, that's why I just want to keep it for now. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the wet, all weather mats for your car. Uh, for me, it's very important since I live in New York, the weather is crazy here. It changes every day. It could be raining, snowing and all of that. So with that being said, I also use my car for Uber, if you guys didn't know. So these mats are really good and important to me. I got the 3D Max ones. They're 200 bucks or around there somewhere for just the interior mats and yeah they're pretty very good actually very light um lightweight very easy to clean and i really like the fitment as well the next one is going to be the seat covers for my car as you guys can see i have red seats and these covers were on amazon for 250 you can buy better ones with like uh napa leather which is just as the seats from the Tesla just the same material but the covers and those are like six seven hundred so I decided not to go for that much and just bought these and thinking back I probably would have actually got those expensive ones because those are just better and just not as not much expensive but since I got these it's whatever they still look good they they work great they protect my seats and whatnot so yeah, and they also give me the look that I really wanted, the red seats. So, with that said, let's go to the next one. Next thing is going to be a USB hub, which is very important for this car since you guys only have two USB ports in the center console. And you need one USB for like, let's say if you got a charger, you need two USB ports for that. You need one for a USB... Um, for storage USB for the dash cam so that's already three ports so if you get a hub you'll have a lot more USB ports and it was just gonna be much easier because I have the USB uh, hub and I'm literally using all the ports so with that said you guys can pretty much see how many USB ports you, you're probably gonna need so the next one is going to be the wireless charger so I got mine for 100 bucks right now this one is from, there's one from Nomad and another one, I don't remember the, the brand, but that's the one I have, the, the other one, not the Nomad, and they're both 100 bucks, but this one, it allows you to lay your phone vertically and horizontally, so it's just a plus for me, and I like that, that there's a different ways you can put your phone on there, it's also going to be charging. To be honest, I don't really use it. I use my uh, wire charger because it's just faster. 
and wireless just not as fast and I, I don't really use it so I also tried one from Amazon for like 30 bucks or 40 bucks but that one was heating up my phone a lot and it's also pretty slow so this one is a little bit faster but it's just it's not as fast as the wire the next thing guys is the steering wheel you can purchase a steering wheel a custom one for a lot of a lot of cash I bought mine for 1300 and then when I send them this one the, the original one it's gonna turn out to be 1000 so that's pretty good uh, when I looked at other ones that are in the same uh, category and like the similar style those were like 1700 so I actually found this one that was a little bit cheaper so if you guys are interested in getting a steering wheel you guys can definitely check out the link below I got mine from Toe Customs so that's a decent brand and if you guys want to go for a cheaper route there's there's some on eBay with different shapes it kind of looks crappy but it's still a decent wheel and it costs about 600 and when you sell your original wheel for like around 300 bucks the custom steering wheel is going to turn around two three hundred dollars but it's obviously you can definitely tell the difference between toe customs and that one next thing guys is going to be the door protection door kick protection or whatever uh, i have it on my doors over here at the bottom it's just this leather that protects my doors from like kicking and whatnot because i drive a lot and i have a lot of passengers so that really helps me keep my doors uh, clean and safe most of the time Be because before it was always dirty and from people kicking it and all, all that stuff. So yeah, it doesn't look that great because you can definitely tell that there's something on the door, but it's whatever. It, it protects the car, protects the doors. This guy's looking at me like I'm crazy, but it doesn't matter. It's really funny. So yeah. They just protect your doors and yeah. Next thing is you can get some extra compartments for your car, like for the center console and whatnot. If you don't like how deep the center console uh, pocket is or whatever, you can get a small compartment that fits in there and it kind of like organizes your coins, like some compartment for your glasses and so on and so forth. So. Let's go to the next stuff or the next topic or whatever you want to call it next. So the next topic that I have is the lights for the car. So the first thing you guys should definitely get is some lights for your car because the trunk lights are really dim. So I got some really bright uh, lights from Amazon, I believe. And then also some footwell lights. Those are also bright, brighter than before, definitely. And then I got some lights for the door puddle lights. But those are just regular lights that I have right now. I'm probably going to buy some later on when um, they're in stock. But I'm going to buy these T logo ones from Abstract Ocean. Those are 45 bucks for a pair. So I'm going to drop like $90 for all four. But with that said, the light is really bright as well. And the logo is really big and nice. So those are really good ones to go for then you guys can also get a uh, center light strips that like i did and i'm gonna show you guys the video on, of that but they look pretty nice mostly at night because during the day you can't really see them next lights are going to be the usb lights for the rear you can just plug them in and they're shiny and bright but i don't like that especially that they're usb and they're sticking out so i'm not gonna buy those the next topic I have is DIY stuff and that's going to be the headliner. I'm going to do the headliner. I bought some Alcantara material and with some glue. So I'm going to leave, leave some links down below for that as well. If you guys want to do some DIYs, then I painted my, my dash, the silver trim and also on the center console, the silver lines, I painted those. You can also wrap the back of the screen which is what I'm going to do in later. And the next thing is tiltable screen. I bought the mount for 200, 200 and something dollars. And I'm going to tilt the screen towards the driver, which is going to be a lot better and feel better when you're driving and looking at the screen. 
so in this topic I have the steering wheel plastic ABS or the vinyl that you can purchase for this wheel I'm gonna leave a couple of links down below actually for this and if you're enjoying the video so far make sure to leave us a like on this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel because like I was saying subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna post a lot of new content pretty soon especially when it comes to my rap I just haven't been posting much because I'm doing the rap so I, I, I want to reveal the rap first before I post my DIYs of the rap and then also have some videos that are already recorded and I just can't wait to post because those reveal the rap. Next thing guys is the center console. I have some ABS carbon fiber plastic over here on my armrest, on my center console, the, the rear vents and also pretty much it for now. but. I'm gonna do the dash and then the switches, carbon fiber. But you can also purchase some vinyls for the center console and also the vinyl that I have here. On the switches, I have matrix, um, matrix something, some kind of a matrix a material for this, for this wrap. And yeah, it was pretty easy to install. It sticks pretty well. And I believe I bought it from Abstract Ocean. Another thing you guys can get is the carbon fiber plastic pieces on the back of the seats, uh, on the back of the front seats. So these big plastic pieces that there are on the seats, you can change those to carbon fiber. That costs like $500, so me personally I probably wouldn't be getting those unless I really want to and maybe if they get cheaper I would, like obviously get, but... Since I'm doing Uber, they get scratched up a lot, so I don't want to spend $500 and get those scratched up. So maybe later when I quit Uber, I'll get those, but for now, I'm probably not going to do so. You can also buy some carbon fiber pieces on the side of the center console trim, and it goes on this leather on the side, and it's going to be like full carbon fiber center console, like the whole thing. That's what I ordered and I can't wait to get it, but I also bought some carbon fiber pieces on for the seat belts over here, as you can see, oops, this part right here, there's a carbon fiber piece that goes on here, you can get a black or red, I bought red just because it kind of matches with the, with the lock where you click the, the seat belt, and I also... Oh, I also have some light strips that are coming for the dash dashboard. Just forgot to mention it in the light section. But yeah, I also have a radar for my car. So it's not really like Tesla related, but it's just a good, good thing to have um, a radar. And you guys can check out the link down below for the radar or one on top. I'm going to try to... Um, leave a link for that as well because when you have a car like like a tesla and it's really fast you definitely need a radar because it's just going to prevent you from getting tickets and it's legal in most states so you guys can check that out on google just to make sure if that's legal or not but yeah with that said that's going to be my last thing that i mentioned in this video so thank you guys for watching Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any uh, suggestions for this video. Maybe I have missed something. But on that note, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.